the video that we've all been waiting for the top 10 BK quarantine challenge photo submissions. <laughs> Guys, it's happening. The BK quarantine challenge top 10 photo submissions. Let me just start off by saying you guys are insane, absolutely nuts. Some of your ideas were so creative, so awesome, and watching them all come into Instagram on the hashtag was just insane. We had over 500 of you enter, like blew my mind. You guys did exactly what I was hoping for, and that's just getting creative during a time where we're a little bit restricted. Some of your entries were stuff that, like, I couldn't have even thought of. It was, like, some insane, like, creative ideas, and you guys seriously have some insane potential to do some awesome stuff. I just need to tell you that, like, you guys never discount yourselves as photographers because some of the stuff that I'm seeing here could literally be from a professional photographer. So keep going, keep at it, stay creative. This was just so cool to be able to see your guys' vision, your creativity, and all of that flood into the Instagram hashtag. If you guys didn't know about this competition already, basically what was going down is we, we started in this time of quarantine and I was like, man, I want people to stay creative and stay at it. And I challenged you guys to take the most creative photo that you could inside of your home with what you had. We gotta stay inside, we gotta stay creative. Boom, the competition was born and it's been so cool. This video is all about the top 10 submissions that I picked out. Now in this video, it's up to you guys to pick the top three winners of the entire competition. Be sure to watch all the way through. You guys are gonna see some amazing art in here and you have to vote in the comments for who is gonna win this challenge. Before I get into this top 10 video, I want to explain my next video. It's gonna be editing your guys' photos with my presets in Lightroom. I think this is gonna be a ton of fun. You guys have to submit your photos to bksubmissions at gmail.com. That way, I will be able to get them, put them into Lightroom, and we'll be able to have a ton of fun in the next video as well. Be sure to submit RAW files if you can. Um, your, your camera has a setting for RAW photos, and that basically allows light to be adjusted a lot more in post. So submit your RAW photos. JPEGs are okay, but specifically RAW photos are what I'm looking for. All right, and without further ado, let's dive into these 10 photos that I picked out from the BK Quarantine Challenge hashtag. All right, so this first one is a set by Justin.Orm. Um, I'm gonna link all of the channels down in the description so you guys can look at their Instagrams, toss them a follow. Um, man, this was just some awesome creativity of some mirror play and just changing angles. It was just so cool to be able to see. There's a carousel with um, just a ton of awesome photos. My favorite is this one of the piano in the mirror. The tones in it have like some greens going on and the, the idea of it with like music being the subject and just taking a creative perspective on it is just so rad. I loved this photo. I love this submission. Thanks so much, Justin Orm, for submitting this photo. This is, this is so cool. So this was one of my uh, top 10 picks. It's important to know that these are in no order, okay? The, like, the, there's not like favorites here. These are just the top 10. This next one is by Diogardi Portraits, and man, this submission was so cool. I loved just the tones of this entire set. She had a carousel of just different things. I'm pretty sure this is like a self-portrait as well, which makes it even cooler because self-portraits are so hard. So, um... Yeah, she had her camera, uh, she was just messing around, it looks like in the living room, and just the idea of, you know, having your camera in your house, this one specifically an old camera, just makes it cool with that, like, vintage vibe. Man, I dig this photo. The denim jacket, too, totally adds to, like, the tones of it. The camera's, like, blacking itself with, like, all the deep, dark, black tones, it's just, like... Man, this is super rad set. My favorite of the set is 
probably this one right here i just totally dig this this concept of the denim jacket the dark green room all the dark tones involved man this this was so sick and it was all done inside of her house probably a self-portrait as well which is hard to do good stuff i love this set Next up is Modern Aero Graphics. Um, man, you're killing it right now, dude. I checked out your feed, and you have some crazy Photoshop stuff going on, kind of like a K-Lop uh, vibe. This is super cool. What I loved about this set is he really took the challenge into account, and what I was really looking for is like creativity at home. So here in the set, he has a before and after of his process of making this, this uh, Photoshop file, I guess. So he has this before photo of just him looking out of his living room window and he's just like looking out at blue sky and some outdoor furniture and then he takes that photo and completely shifts it into like an urban vibe, super quarantine-esque like green tones. It just feels so epic and the Photoshop itself is pretty strong man so good stuff. I totally dig this set. This definitely made top 10 for me. Next up, we have Heather Pep Photos. Um, she took this photo. It might be a self-portrait. It might not. I'm not sure. But, but man, just the emotion in this photo really just stuck out to me. She, it looks like someone's just laying down kind of sideways, hands in the foreground, perfectly blurred. I mean, the tones of the black and white are just awesome. I don't even know if this was taken on a pro camera. This could have been an iPhone shot, but just the emotion in the photo is perfect. I loved it. It's great. Next up, we have Suspense Pictures. Um, man, he has two photos in the set, and they're both really cool. Just of a girl, one of them's holding a flower, and the other one's in like a blue, spooky looking room. And it, I dig it. It looks so cool. Um, this blue one in particular, it just has these like crazy feelings going on of like spooky um just unknown like discomfort and that's so so good i love it that's great definitely made the top 10. so next up we have nielsen larson um this looks like a self portrait of just him looking out the window and man I, there was a lot of like window shots that came in and and you guys were all like looking out the window like just dreaming of what's out there and this shot in particular spoke some emotion to me because so he's on the left side of the frame completely and usually when you're taking a photo it's like common to go with the the subject centered right he's on the left side of the frame and it just has this feeling of like he's pushing to the side of the frame like man what is going on outside what am i looking at right now and the rest of the frame is his house and man that is just so awesome to be able to you know frame that perfectly to where the the main subject is man he is in his home and that's all he can do right now he's he's there he's looking outside he's dreaming about it i dig the tones as well it's an awesome edit i love it i think it's great now some great job good stuff next up we have alexis paterax i believe you say i'm sorry if i get any of these usernames wrong but this is a pretty cool set definitely one of the more creative ones um she took just an eyeball and really played with what she was doing in creativity um this this whole set is is using kind of lettering um, flowers, a ton of close-ups of the eye, and maybe contacts, or did she Photoshop the eye? I'm not sure, but I love this one. It says, make art, not war. Um, just a close-up of the eye with the contact lens inside. And then this next one says, hope. Just such a cool quarantine thing to have. And then, like, taping it to, like, flowers just to, like, accent the eye. Man, this is awesome and then the last one has like all the quarantine masks that we've all been wearing she's got the contact lens in it's a little bit different of an editing style which i liked um man i dig this set definitely creative loved it i thought this was so cool 
So this next one is by Your Sarah Jane, and I literally could not help myself but put this one in the top 10. Dude, this photo is so sick. I've never seen anything like this before. She has like a lampshade over her head, but in the lampshade, there's like a light somehow. I don't know if it's LED tape or what, but she has a light source in there that's really cool. She's got like this, this cat right next to her that's just staring at the camera. I don't know how that's possible, but man, this is just so creative. It's kind of spooky. It looks like a, a horror film or, or something, but Sarah Jane, this is, this is good stuff. This, this took some, some noggin power. I dig it. So this next one is by Lily Danae Photos, and man, there's just some awesome light play going on here. She's She's got her subject like laying down, or maybe just the frame is sideways, I'm not sure, but um, there's just some light play going on on the eyes. I don't know if it's from like a window or a door or a prism or what the light is coming from, but the way that it's hitting the face just draws like a certain emotion, and I totally dig this one. For sure made the top 10. And... Guys, last but not least, we have Justin BMC. This photo is so, so sick. I don't know how you did this without hurting yourself, but dude, this is rad. It's like a guy literally levitating um, in the air. He, he it looks like he's doing like a backflip, but he's not. Like he's gonna like land on his back or something. I don't know. Maybe they had like a mattress underneath, but this dude's literally like levitating, but it's such a cool idea just to like freeze your subject midair with a high shutter speed and I dig it. I kind of want to try this idea now. These tones are just so awesome too. Everything about this photo is just well composed. The edit is clean. I love this. I think it's great. So guys, that was the top 10 photos that I picked out. Um, it is now up to you guys to decide who makes the top three. Um, you guys just put the number of the photo in the comments and that will count as your vote. I will be making another top three video explaining who won the competition, why I think they won, and just the insane creativity, maybe hopefully getting to uh, share a message from them. So. Guys, thank you so much. This has been so fun. So thank you guys so much for participating in this challenge. Again, one of the reasons I'm doing this is just because this is a new YouTube channel. I wanted to get some of you guys on board with my mission of just going out and taking adventure photography. That's really what I want to do. That's my passion. And you guys are getting me one step closer with every time we do something like this. So thank you so much. We'll definitely be doing more of this kind of stuff in the future. So definitely stay tuned, stay subbed, and keep watching these videos. If you guys did not make the top 10, don't, don't be discouraged. Just keep taking photos, keep being creative. This was just a little fun thing on the side. That does not mean that your photos are bad in any way. Keep at it, keep being creative. I think you guys have some incredible potential just based off of what I saw in this context. Thanks again, like, comment, subscribe, vote in the comments below. I cannot wait to see who wins these top three. I will see you all in the next video.